Hi, it's Kathy Crafty Chica, and I made an end table. This table is so cute. Okay, let me tell you the inspiration. I have been seeing hairpin legs all over TikTok and Instagram. So I looked around my house. I found this wood tabletop in my garage, perfect. So I brought it into my studio and first thing I did was I added a fresh coat of paint and I used graduated colors. I knew I wanted to paint something on the top but I wasn't exactly sure. My house is white on the inside with pops of color so I thought maybe some kind of white accent on top would be nice. Earlier this year, Prima Marketing sent me these rub-on transfers from their redesigned collection perfect. This is exactly the look that I wanted. It's white rub-on. It comes with a little burnisher tool. So you just go over and you rub over all of the designs. And I like how it's rustic looking. So if it doesn't transfer perfectly that's what it's supposed to look like so i went through this whole sheet and i rubbed rubbed rubbed, rubbed and then it was time to peel it up and see what was left behind after all that burnishing let's see what comes up oh a lot of it did not transfer okay time to go to plan b more burnishing this time i just decided to go for it i just peeled off the whole thing you could see a lot of it did not lift. So before I went on any further, I was like, I'm gonna figure this out. I know there has to be an easier way. And yes, I found it. The best way to do this is to lift some of the plastic and then rub the design as you lift the plastic, just piece by piece. Put on a good audiobook or a movie. This takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it. Oh wow, that turned out perfect, exactly what I wanted. So I added a coat of resin that night. However, the resin, it separated on parts where the transfer was. So the next day after it was cured, I added Mod Podge over all of the open parts. And then I mixed up a second batch of resin to give this tabletop a second coat. After mixing the two-part resin, I let it set to remove the gas bubbles, and then I just poured it right on top. And I used a wide, soft brush just to kind of even the resin out all over the table. And then I went to bed and said three Hail Marys that this would work out the next morning. Very happy, yes, it worked. Time to attach the hairpin legs super easy you can buy these on Amazon turn anything into a cute little accent table thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to like share and subscribe and let me know is this a project you'd like to make and for more projects check out craftychica.com thanks guys